Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today I'm going to do a test video regarding the Precision Farming DLC. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, so I did a tutorial series on Precision Farming and there was a lot of different questions that people had. Um, and I'm going to start doing some test videos to try to answer some of those questions. So um, today, um, I'm on Felsbrin. I have Precision Farming obviously installed. I'm going to test um, to see how long until your data becomes outdated. And what I mean by that is you come in here. Um, so, yep, that all makes sense. Um, there's this outdated data down here at the bottom and outdated data down here at the bottom. Um, there's nothing on here. Um, so as far as that stuff goes, I'm assuming there's a way to get that to occur. Um, if it's on there, it would probably occur at some point. So the way I'm going to test that is I'm going to run soil samples on field 29. Um, field 28, not, I'm not, I'm probably not even going to care about sampling the whole field, but get a couple on each one. And then I'm going to also get a couple on 21 because you can, um, from my understanding, or at least I have been able to before, uh, test other people's fields that I don't own. So this one's going to just kind of do its own thing. This one I'll check every 24 hours to see if there's any outdated data and keep track of how many days until I see it, if there is any on here. Um, this one, I'm going to keep track of days to see as well, but I'm also keeping track of harvests. And this one I'm going to keep track of days because I'm not going to do any field work on field 28. It'll be kind of a control field. So field 28 is currently at a cultivated state. So right here is field 28. And this is field, um, or excuse me, I think that's field, that's yeah, field 28. This is field 29 here. The so field 29 here, the one I'm walking on. After I test it initially, I'm going to go ahead and plant. So I hop in here, I'm going to plant wheat, then harvest it. Then I'm going to plant barley, harvest it. Oats, harvest it canola harvest it soy harvest it and then i'm going to go back to wheat and i'm just going to do that cycle so that's kind of the plan i'm going to just keep running through and see how that goes and then i do want to take a look at seasons as well and see if it matters on seasons as far as days or years or what what have you on there so um anyhow i'm going to go ahead and run that test and i'm going to put some charts together and we'll kind of figure some things out and see if it um actually does become outdated after so long so yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit all right, folks, welcome back. So I haven't done the seasons test yet, but I wanted to give you guys an update for what I've uh, found out so far. Again, I didn't do anything to the fields. I didn't do any pH or nitrogen or anything like that. I just did through uh, my harvest and everything like that. Now, um, a couple things to note. I could not take a soil sample of a field I did not own, so I was unable to sample this one. Um, but what I did do is I bought it, took a sample, and then sold it to see if it would still show up, and it didn't. It just erased it, um, which... At, which gives me another question I want to answer here in a second as far as if we sell this field now that we've done a bunch of harvest on it, will it reset it or will it just be the way it is? So we'll test that in a second. Now on field 28 and 29, I just ran a, a test. I did two separate tests essentially. Uh, the first test was just to let both fields run and see how long until they would have any outdated data in any of these different categories. And as you can see, they, they don't have any on them right now. Um, so each field ran for 40 excuse me, 40 in-game days, um, it didn't have anything changed. And this one ran, this top section was harvested 10 times um, with two or with five different crops, and nothing was outdated after that. So I do want to check and see, and now we're going to look at field 29 here. So there's the, de the, the details on that. There's the details on that. So nitrogen is pretty, they're cut different, and there's a yield marker on there. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go to the main section here, and we're going to sell off that one and now we're going to buy it again and we're going to see if that resets anything so, oops let's get out of that screen there uh, so i don't have any details on any of those so let's go ahead and grab i'll well, tipped over over here but let's <laughs> let's go ahead and get that tip back over just using super strength there and those are the only other two mods I'm running. I have Disable Vehicle Collision on, and I do have the, uh, um, gosh, what's it called? Uh, the Easy Development Commands on, which is what I just showed you there. So we'll go ahead and zoom us. Oh, I, I folded it up. I meant to unfold it, but it was already unfolded. Okay, there we go. We'll go ahead and run just one soil sample here. And we'll send that off. Now you should be able to hop out, go into here. So we should get an answer back here in just a second. It takes one minute in game to do it. So, so obviously we knew that wasn't going to change. Um, pH, 
nitrogen definitely resets so it does look like it resets it so um, if you do want to reset a field you can do that um, now i am going to bring back an entirely new save game um, and i'm going to go ahead and run the same test on this field here during seasons and take a look at a couple things i'm going to run it i think uh, five years um, without touching anything on it after i take some samples and then i'm going to run it um, through hopefully five harvest cycles so i'll try to do that so that's the goal so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right welcome back so in seasons i got very similar results i did five years um and on the field i didn't plant anything i got nothing and on the field i did plant stuff on the top of it we go into the menu here uh go over the precision farming menu there's nothing that's outdated so i don't know that's just very strange i don't know what to say about that i guess it never gets outdated because i mean and i can understand if you sold a field and let it sit for a couple of years if it went outdated then but you lose the information automatically if you sell a field. So I don't know how many years you have to do it, but again, or how many days or whatever the case may be, but 40 days on regular gameplay, nothing happened on the field that didn't have anything grown. And the one that I did 10 harvests on, um, nothing was outdated after 10 harvests. And this one I did five harvests over five years. And this one I just let it sit here for five years and nothing, nothing really changed. I mean, everything changed, but nothing became outdated. So I'm not really sure about that. I didn't do any charts for this or anything like that. Um, just because it's pretty straightforward what the answer was. I may put stuff up on the screen. But we'll kind of see in editing what I decide to do on that. But, uh, you know, guys, that is my first test video that I'm going to do for precision farming. I will do more. The next question I want to answer is, I think, what the RTK stations are actually doing. Now, if you go into the menu here for that and go over to the help menu um, under, well, if we can find it, precision farming. Somewhere in here, theoretically speaking. Here we go. Under the RTK station, it says you're, uh, it's supposed to help your helpers. It's supposed to go up to 11% faster, so I could actually test that. So I think we will test that in the next video. But yeah, that was one question. I think I got more of this question than the other ones. I think RTK station maybe was close to tied with that. But yeah, so that answers that. Uh, four hours of testing later, and we, we know that it doesn't seem to matter a whole lot. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.